Good afternoon, everyone. As promised, I am here to show you my November setup in my sweet planner, trifold cover. So on the last video, <clears throat> I was kind of going through a lot of things that I was using. And at the end of the video, I told you guys that I would come on and we would set this up together. So if you want to hang out with me today while I set this up, please continue to watch. Okay, everyone, today is Wednesday, October the 30th, and I'm trying to get better at putting up videos and just basically doing what I need to do. <laughs> what I need to do. So as promised, let's go ahead and get into this. So this planner here, I did purchase from Sweet Planner. It is the tri-fold planner, meaning it does fold out like so. Um, I do have already some things that I inserted because I did not want to run the risk of losing them. So I was like, let me just go ahead and put them in so that I know that they're there. So I just decoed up my pockets a little bit. This little leather charm here is actually from Sweet Planner as well. I have um, a November, an old November card from Cloth and Paper. And I just tuck, tuck that in there because the November sticks out the top and then I have just a little cute um, sheet of stickers. It's like one of those little sample sheets that you get. And this is from KD Makes Stickers. And then I believe this is from Planner Rebel Co. I had this last year and just decided to just put these in my pockets along with this bow here and this little it's not even a clip. It's like a sticky, one of those little sticky um, plush stickers that you can get from like the Dollar Tree. But I believe that someone gave this to me. So I just paper clipped that to the front pocket. And in the back, I have an old cloth and paper card from 2020. And a Bible verse, very popular one, Proverbs 3.6. And then this is a plan with a B freebie that I've had for a while that I laminated and just stuck it back in the pocket. So just trying to, you know, get some things already situated. So I do have so many inserts that I need to put in here. I have uh, a couple of plan with a B inserts. Let's see. Wise Coffee Break. I love to use these for my work planner area. And then these were some new ones that I printed out from Perfective Paper. I just kind of, um, I was actually watching another planner YouTuber and I saw these and I was like, let me give those a try. They're very similar to the Hobonichi Weeks a little bit. And the fact that you do get your Monday through Thursday on this side, but it's very small. And then you get your tracker here, a to-do list. And then, then at the top, you just have boxes. So you can either do like a sticker a day. Um, maybe if you're an avid reader and you read very fast, you could do your book. Uh, put a small sticker of your book. Or you could do a sticker a day. You could do your mood you could do your social media. I'm not sure what I would use this for, but I was wanting really to try this insert out and it is from Perfective Paper. You do have to purchase it. This is also the daily plan from Perfective Paper. So I did have to purchase these two inserts, but Perfective Paper has so many inserts. So if you're interested, go take a look at the website. And then another plan with B add to planner that I did kind of jazz up with some happy planner stickers and I laminated it. And one of the reasons why I laminated this is because I did not want to have to keep printing 
off the same insert. So I could use sticky notes to put on here, add to my planner, and then when I add them, I can just remove them. And so I have the front and the back, and then plan with B, the um, 2024 and the 2025 yearly overview that I did laminate as well to go in my planner along with the 2025 holidays in which I printed on vellum and then this is also a little cute fun image here from plan with B these are all freebies from plan with B very popular shop I'm pretty sure you already knew that and then I just have a couple of different things this is from hey planner girl um, my no spin tracker I have like some to-do list from mommy plans and this doctor visit insert sleep tracker movie log these are from a elise creates who also has awesome freebies and then planner room so i think this is a freebie as well along with this one i love both of these because you can actually like track it and then you can kind of like highlight it here then i have a recurring task I have my symptoms tracker from Vixie Plans, which she also has a great um, perimenopausal tracker with some symptoms already on there. And then in my box over here, my husband smokes cigars, so I just took this little lovely box and I just started throwing things in that I may want to put in here. This is the perimenopause tracker that I was telling you about from Vixie Plans. So I do have just some other different inserts here that I may want to throw in my setup. The only thing about this planner is the rings are very small. I think they're like 15, 15. I'm not even sure if you can see that, but it's way smaller. So, we're going to have to work with this. So, you guys, I am going to put you all on fast forward. And I am going to set this beautiful trifold planner up for November.
So now that we've gotten through October, today is November, it is actually time to migrate things from the October planner into the new planner that you guys just saw me kind of set up. <laughs> so we're going to take out calendar because that's important. I'm going to slide that in there. Um... I'm going to take out this 2024 calendar, and I think I want to put it up here at the front. Just like that. Let's see. I'm just going to have to open this up, and things are probably going to fall everywhere. So I do like that. Let's see. I've got to be very, very, very careful because the rings and the sweet planner are super small. Oops. So that's just not, that's it. they're already not trying to close. Okay, so that's old. I don't really need, do I need an inbox? I guess we could put that here. Okay, don't need that. Need this. Don't need that. Don't need that. I think I've already got. Do I have holidays in here? Well, this is 2025 holidays. Let's see what I've got up here. I've already got one. So we can keep that out to the side. It still is pumpkin season, so I might keep that. We don't need this. No Halloween. None of that. Now, I was, let's see. This is just from Becca Plans. Watch Becca Plans. And I was using it to kind of mark off the days that I was inside of the planner. So we can actually put that here. If it'll slide in. I'm going to have to rearrange some things because I don't want that to be the first thing that I see when I open it. So, let me do this. And then we put that there. Ooh. Okay, that's better. That's gone. Keep the clear divider. My list, I guess they're gonna have to go in the back. These are all just like just important lists that I like to have. Now you guys see why I am truly debating the disc planner because I would not have this dilemma. If I just had bigger rings, like, and see, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit, these are like on my list list, so I'm going to have to put those in there. This is Halloween, 
I'll cover her. Okay, so we don't need this. This. This was cute. This was fun. Put that to the side. So how my little October tracker started off. I was doing a sticker a day. It's Halloween. Halloween. Okay. This was part of another planner. And I didn't write on it because I wanted to reuse the divider. So this is autumn. I might can keep that. This was how my reading went in October. The exercise was non-existent, but we're going to, let's see. Can we put that? For right now, I'm just going to put it right here. And reading, I can take off. My Filofax divider, my month divider, don't need that. Um, what was this? Okay, so these were my calendars. Oh, wait a minute. Let me. I might want to keep that. I may can put that in the back. Or maybe in here. Um, October is gone, but I still have my November on this side, which I need to fill out. So we're going to put that there. It's all my stuff for November. So let me just stick all of this on here. That's done. That's not. This is Halloween. So these do need to go in because they are my calendars. They are for Main Mama Plants. The Mombi can go. Let's see. Where's my calendar section? That's going to have to go in here. Right here. Okay, all of this is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. This fall bucket list can come off. And we're just going to put that there to cover up. This is definitely Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. These were all my plans for October. Very cute. That's when I was trying out the Hobonichi Weeks. So, yeah. That can be trashed. Cute, cute. Halloween. Halloween. Hopefully you guys had a nice Halloween. Let's see. These are Halloween. Well, today is here. So, I can really go ahead and get rid of this. These are... Some extra inserts that I'm going to tuck away. Getting rid of all the Halloween stuff, you guys. I do want to keep that because that's a note. This is very, let's see. We'll stick that right there because it's not 2025 yet. This can be trashed. These are just notes about my planner setup, so I do want to keep those. We're going to put those in, back there. Oh, my contacts page. 
passwords. So those are going to go back here. I'll put those in later. My autumn journal. Let's see. I did really enjoy keeping up with this, but to be honest, it was just for fun. We might can put that in there because it goes very well. We could put that back. Finances. Yep. Halloween, Halloween. Okay, so these are inserts that I do want to keep. Things to things to budget for. Of course, my no spin tracker. My orders tracker, which has been I just keep it going since it's been going since July, so I just keep it. Take out Spooky Mama. Let's see. No spend. Okay. Gonna put that in the middle here. This was old. Getting to my favorite shops, discount codes, wish list. That's going to go in the back. Bill tracker. So. going to go here. At the end, because this is the... Like, I keep track of how much longer I have to pay on stuff. So, we're going to put that in there. Halloween, Halloween. Picture of me and the hubs. That's going to stay. Let's see, put that. Can that fit in the pocket? Let's see. We'll just put it here. Halloween. Some more of those images. I guess I can put the kiddos. These are pictures of my kids when they were really, really tiny. So I can put them there. Weekly routine, I do like that, so let's see. Right here. All oh, this is Halloween. Reset, let's see. See, it's already, it's already getting to the point where it won't it won't turn I'll put the reset in here right here in the middle Halloween Halloween planner routine oh gosh you guys such good inserts but not enough space should probably go up here because it says planner routine so it should probably go up here in the front
yeah, this is a this is a nice planner cover, but the rings are just small, and I don't think you can change them out. So let's see. This was a to do list. Get rid of that. Oh, task reminders. My one word a day. I really enjoyed that. October. This was a a sleep tracker that I made. And then I forgot that I already had one in here. So these I do want to put in here. This was how my mood turned out for October. Super cute. I was using like different emojis and things. This I did not keep up with. So all of these are Halloween. The last time I medications, books read. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Autumn books trigger list. Yeah, some of this stuff is not going to fit in here. Currently reading. Symptoms tracker. So this is from October. So I need to keep that because I need to bring over my symptoms. Talking points. This is my uh, spoke to log. Online orders. And sleep tracker for October so daily tracker everything was going good for that I was really keeping track of things so we are that's over social media get rid of that but I do want to keep this insert. So it just kind of tra keeps track of my stats. This right here, I think I can get, well, I can get rid of this one. You guys, I don't know how all this is going to fit. This is my work. Okay, I'm going to step off and get <laughs> all of this stuff. To, I'm going to try to get it all in here and then I'll come back and do a flip because yeah a final flip so hang tight okay you guys so here is the final final flip of my November setup in the sweet planner trifold you guys this leather smells so good um, but anyway <laughs> let's get to it finally so this charm, I decided to take off the dangly dangly and put this one on here. This one is from Pine and Peony. Um, her name is Lisa. We met about a couple years ago in the planner community, and she just does amazing with her handmade charms and ribbons and things. This is actually supposed to be for a bookmark, but I just decided to put it on there because it goes with the planner so well. And then my pockets, which I'm not going to go through, um... Because I've already showed that. And then I took my calendar here. Um, this nameplate I transferred over from the October planner. This is from Amazon. Of course, you've seen this before. You guys, I told you these rings were small. My pages already will not flip. So, bear with me. This is Watch Becca Plans. Just keeping track of how often I'm in the planner. Pictures here. Um, I think this is from Southern Bells. Plan with B. Um, a freebie from somewhere. Um, my 2024 planner routine. This is a freebie from Laura Jane Plans. This is Plan with B. These are from Plan J. Just a printout of things that you might need when you're switching or migrating from month to month. These um, calendars here are from Main Mama Plans. I believe they are a freebie. Then I just, I need to go and fill out my calendar, but I'll do that off camera. Um, this here was, I think, co-made it. It was an image. It is actually a bookmark, but I just attached it to um, a page divider that I made myself out of those cutting boards from Dollar Tree some more information that I need to put into my November calendar and then this is December 
This is a freebie from EO Edits, the inbox. I just have a sticky note up there. My migrated grocery list. Add to planner. Laminated page from Plan With B. I put some deco on there. Then this one um, I'm actually writing on. So it'll be like more permanent things that I should add to my planner. I do need a trip planner because I'm planning to go see my daughter in 2025. And recurring task from Wise Coffee Break, plan with B, recurring bills, and then just a kind of like an inbox migrating kind of system from Mommy Plans. This is plan with B, some blank pages from uh, Mommy, Mom, Mommy Plans, similar to Main Mama Plans. Um, happy planner dashboard cut down to size these I found on Etsy by my minima not minimal I don't know if that's a typo but my minimal my minimal planner okay my minimal planner my fault <laughs> uh, plan with B Marcia Bermucci uh, this is from crystal plans the Ten Commandments Scrap paper, planner, Rebel Co. I believe these are freebies. This is Laura Jane Plans freebie weekly routine. This is I don't know if that's uh, Southern Bell Plans. I don't know. Not sure. So now we get into my inserts, which are from Perfective Paper. I wanted to try these out. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Task reminders, freebie from Laura Jane Plans. This is my social media tracker that I need to fill in. I'm not sure. I got this off of Google. But I'm not sure where this came from. It's a freebie somewhere. And then I'm just keeping track of, like, the videos that I upload. This is my spoke to log from Perfectionism Prints. The feelings, this helps when I want to journal about how I felt through the day, when I'm keeping track of my mood. And then this reset was from, hmm, um, not sure, it's a freebie. So my printouts from Perfective Paper for the weekly. Then we go into the daily plan. This is also from Perfective Paper. You get two days on a page. Very simple. So I have enough for all of November. That's a freebie from somewhere. This is an old Happy Planner dashboard. Uh, this is from Planner Rebel Co. And this is my work section. So I just keep track of days off, holidays, PTO. And then these inserts from Wise Coffee Break, I actually get to like journal or notate what needs to happen during the week. Now, I did show you that for 2025, I was going to move into this planner here, which is a collab between Notique and Blue Sky. It doesn't start officially until January, but you get your monthlies for October, November, and December. So you only get the monthlies. So I can't actually write anything down in here until January. So Wise Coffee Break inserts I will still be using until then. This is like my emotional wellness section here. So we've got our finances. This is a no spin tracker from Hey Planner Girl. So you just notate um, the days. I usually notate the days that I don't spend. And then on the back, there's a place to um, jot down what you spend, how much you spend. This is my bill section. So I have this things to budget for, which is a freebie. Um, personal things I want to buy, my no spin tracker. Again, this is from Perpetual Plans. I just love crossing out the days. And then my online orders tracker, which is from Planner Room. And it's been going since July. So I just, instead of putting new insert, I just keep it 
going. These are the actual budgeting inserts from Filofax. So you can break it down per week, um, break it down by category, payments due, and then there is like an expense tracker. These are my bills so that I know exactly what comes out on what day. This Savopoly is from Little Birdie Canada. I have yet to start doing this, but you do need a pair of die because um, you have to roll the die and then, you know, move around the board and then whichever amount of money you land on, that's what you save. That's what you have to put in for savings that week. Symptoms Tracker is from Vixie Plan. So I have just a regular symptom tracker. As you can see, here's October's. So I do need to go in and put my symptoms. And then there is also a perimenopause tracker where she has some common symptoms that women experience during perimenopause. She also has it where it's blank. So you can put in your own symptoms. This is my sleep tracker from Planner Room. So, and then this is another one from Annalita Designs. So on this one, you can just notate how many hours you slept and then your mood. This section here is kind of like my health and wellness. So like your morning routine, the habit tracker. It's very similar to the other tracker that I had when in my October planner. Let me see if I can pull a scrap sheet right quick. I may have trashed it. Oh, here it is. It's very similar to this. This one was from Happy Ghost Plans, but this one is from, oops, and that's already tearing. This one is from, where is this one from? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to try to figure out something to get these pages to turn easier. This is the workout section, so... You can um, keep track of it by month, what exercise, what muscle group you're targeting, how many reps, what you like, what you did not like, what you want to change. This is a fitness bundle from, uh, it's a fitness bundle from, let me see if I have it in my notes over here. For some reason, I didn't write that shot down. Let's see. Okay. Fitness bundle. Oh, it's from the Nitty and Gritty. An Etsy shop. The Nitty and Gritty. So this is also part of that bundle. And then here we have just a self-care reflection journal. So you can put your daily affirmations all the forms of self-care that you did that day. Then I have my movies log, my doctor visits, and the last time I did something. Actually, I threw that sheet. Did I throw that sheet? Oh, no. So a lot of this stuff I have to do off camera because, see, there's the last time. So I need to put that in there. And also figure out a way to turn these pages a little easier. <laughs> This is my Christmas section. This is from, oh gosh, you guys, I'm drawing a blank. Oh gosh, it's a freebie. This is just some Christmas movies from on Netflix, on Prime, and on Disney. This is an old list, so I'm pretty sure there's some new ones, but I'm assuming that these are like classic movies. And then that's an image. I think this is from Kel Ann Designs. And then December, the Christmas Countdown. This is a bundle from, it looks like Peanuts Planner Co., to be honest with you. This is a, shop, a Black Friday shopping list, your gift list. And then you can see I've started putting things in there. My cards, holiday cards to send, and then holiday movies that I want to watch that were not on this list. And then, of course, the back. In here, I could not fit 
like my running list that I have going here. So I have just stuck them in the back because I do reference those. I just don't have any space. I love this planner. I absolutely love it, love it, love it. But it is just the rings. The rings are the issue as with all the other planners. So you guys, that was the final flip through and set up for November. Another cool thing about this planner is that this flap here doubles as a writing board. So see how that works. So I've got to figure out a way to get my pages to turn easier, but hopefully I can stay in this planner cover the entire month of November. We'll see. We'll see you guys. We shall see. And on that note, I guess I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you have a great week. And yes, thank you guys for subscribing, for watching, for hanging around. And I cannot wait to plan into the next year for 2025 with all of you. Have a great week. Bye now.